Welcome to my YouTube channel Physics Programmers. Today we will learn about how to do plottings in Python using Matplotlib library. So for that you have to install Matplotlib library and uh, uh, the other library if you require and uh, Python installed on your machine. So let me start. Just first, uh, so I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor for code editing. So first import matplotlib library. So matplotlib dot pyplot. Okay, and I am just uh, importing it as plt so that I can call this library by uh, writing this plt in short. And also I need import numpy because I will use some numerical things. So I am importing numpy as np can just uh, start my writing that uh, np lens space let me just create a simple one degree let me just make it like uh, from two to three or minus one to two let's say just minus one to two equally space hundred points okay so there will be hundred equally spaced points between zero to minus one to two okay so and you can just check it out like this in uh, x okay and uh, save it uh, tutorial one dot pi so pi dot pi is the python extension you have to save it with dot pi file so you can see that the x is minus one to two and there there are 100 points, equally spaced point. Okay. Now just uh, write y is equals to x squared so that uh, y will contain, uh, y, y is an array which contain 100 points which will be exactly equals to x squared. Okay. So now let me just plot them. So this is a y is equals to x squared function which will be plotted from minus 1 to 2. So now plot it for plotting this x comma y then plt dot show. So this show function will show the plot to you. Okay. Now run it. Okay. So I have not saved it yet. So now we'll just run it. So now you can see that from minus 1 so at minus 1 this is 1 because y squared is equals to 1 and at 2 it is 4. So this is uh, uh, y is equals to x squared. But who knows that this uh, axis is y and this axis is x. So for that you have to write and uh, to mention that you have to write x level plt dot x level is x and uh, your plt dot y label will be y okay now save it and run it so now you can see that x and y okay so by default matplotlib actually creates a figure uh, which is not defined here, but in general, you can just uh, when you will uh, write for two figures or more figures, then you have to specify that which figure is what. So for that, you have to define that. So plt dot figure comma one figure in bracket one. So this is this one is the identification. It's like a roll number for your school. Okay, um, and uh, you can specify fix size with this third bracket. Um, let me just make it like 4 comma 3 so that this 4 is the width and 3 is the height okay so save it and run the code and you can see but you can see that you cannot see that the x level okay so why uh, even um, so for that you have to do plt dot tight layout first packet start and close so this tight layout will fit your everything in this figure frame okay so this is required command and now you can see that you can easily see this x and y okay 
So now what happened if I just uh, write like this that is z is equals to np dot sine x. So sine x will create an array which will be equals to sine x. Okay. So there will be 100 elements exactly like x. Okay. So now you can just plot it again. plt dot plot x comma z and I just run it. And you can see this is uh, this is the sine x curve. Okay, I'll just uh, make it uh, five four x sine four x. Okay, so there will be some more cycles for the sine function. Yeah, so now we can see that this is uh, minus one to plus one. It is uh, oscillating. So this is an oscillative oscillatory function, and uh, that is what. But uh, who knows that this is uh, sine x and this is the x square function because I know because I write I have written this code but uh, no one will understand if they just uh, look at the figure because this figure you can use in your research paper you can use in your presentation so then the audience should have to understand that uh, this is what so, so for that you have to put a label which will be indicating that which is what so you can just write like this that level sign 4x and here you can just label it as uh, x square so now i will just uh, this notation is for uh, this is compatible with latex so just write it like this so inside this dollar this math uh, commands will work so just put it and now okay so this is actually labeled but now we have to put an put a legend so that legend will show you this which level is what so for that you have to just write dot plt dot legend and you can choose a location like maybe i can just write four is equals to location is equals to one just okay so this one means the first quadrant if you just write two then it will be here if three this is here and four this is here so for for this figure i can just see this is two will be the best so i just write two and you can see that this is here but uh, when you don't know about uh, that when uh, which uh, which space will be free for the legend and for that you can just write loc is equals to zero so this will be the best position and it will find it how this is best and uh, it will put there okay so zero is the best way to do this and if you don't want the frame you can just uh, write like this frame on equals to false then the frame will not occur in the figure and here you can cannot see the frame okay so now what uh, if you want to change the color of the plots the curves and the styles uh, like whatever you have done up to now that uh, your plots are with solid lines so you can just change the line style so line style in short is ls so you can just write dash dashed so dashed and uh, the next one is i'm just writing it's dotted so it will be dotted just look at this run the code and you can see that the first one is dashed that and the second one is dotted so you can just change how this is how you can change the plotting style line style you can change the color also that color can be changed to r for red color can be changed for g for green b for blue and so on and only the exception is the black that you have to put k if you put b it will be blue okay so this is how we can change the colors you can change the line width too okay so line width for line width you have to put this uh, lw lw means line width you can just put three line width equals to three and here line width equals to four let's say 
uh, then okay so for that here you have to put a comma yeah now run it yeah now you can see that this is uh, with line with three and this is line four okay now just i'm making it a simple solid and i'm just showing you something else uh, let me do this and uh, let me just uh, make it the line with maybe i can just uh, put like one and this is one okay now you can also put some markers to identify the curve so marker is equals to this s means square markers and uh, if i just write like this marker is equals to um o so that means circle okay so but uh, here you can see that i have actually taken 100 points so there are lot of points uh, 100 points so you cannot distinguish between two successive points so just for that you can just put an option mark every mark every five that will mark after every five points okay so that means if you have 100 points and you put mark every five then you will have 20 markers okay so just uh, look at this and you can see that there will be 20 markers okay okay fine so this is how you can just uh, do such, and this kind of marker plotting will be helpful when your uh, figure is printed in black and white then you can just uh, look at the markers and levels you can just identify which curve is fun now what if i want to export this um, export this uh, figure so for that we have to to save so for that you just write plt.save thing and uh, write my figure uh, my fig my fig dot uh, png let's say and if you want to just uh, uh, specify the dpi so for that you can just write dpi equals to 300 and you can just look at here that there will be uh, it will create uh, my fig dot png file And you can see that my png file is here it is created now and you can see that this is created okay so this is how you can save these figures also now i will do another plot okay. so for that let me just uh, create another figure that figure two and uh, it should have some fixed size let me just make it 4 comma 3 again yeah and not this as figure okay it should be subplot subplots and just write it like this fig comma x is equal to this okay and uh, there will not be two it should it will generate another identity uh, itself by default and we should have write this n calls equals to two maybe and in rows maybe equal to two let's say okay just run this code and you can see an interesting thing that this actually created another figure which has two two columns that these are columns these and this and uh, this is uh, this figure has also two rows so for that uh, you can just uh, show four figures together okay and the commands are exactly same how we can use that okay but you have to put but which uh, in which figure you want to which what you want to put what so for that as it has uh, two columns and two rows so this ax is basically um two cross two matrix and two cross two array basically so 
x zero zero will represent the first sub figure, and if I just write write like this, x comma zero x in third bracket zero comma zero it will, and if you write plot here now that. Let me just put it like this: x comma x square. Okay, x um, zero comma one dot plot x comma n p dot uh, sine x x comma one comma zero dot plt dot plot and x comma n p dot cos x. X one comma one dot plt plot 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 x comma um, maybe maybe uh, just uh, x plus two a linear function okay it's simple and just run it and okay so before running you can just put a tight layout. So that it can, yeah. So now we can see that this is the parabolic curve. Uh, I'm just minimizing it. This is the parabolic curve. This is the sine. This is the cos curve, and uh, because cos, you can see that this, at zero it is one. So, and this is the linear curve. So this is how you can just plot the four curves together. Okay, and the everything is same. Just only let me just show you that. How to put labels? These labels and all. So you can just write like this. I'm just copying it here. So I will just do it for one. That uh, x zero comma zero. And just write dot set label. Okay, set x label. And similarly, you have to write here also that x zero comma zero dot set y label. So this will put it is not just only x level and y level okay and now you can see that okay so there the code is not completed yet because i have not closed all the things now we can run it yeah so now you can see that um, see that here that i have just uh, set y and x level for this x 0 comma 0 so this is x 0 comma 0 so that is why it is here that y is set here and x is set here okay and one more thing i have not uh, i forgot to mention that you can just put limits also in the axis so x limit so this x lim will create and limit so uh, a limit so that you can see that it is minus 1 to plus 2 so you can just uh, write like this minus 2 to plus 2 okay uh, so that uh, it will be just symmetric and y let me just plt dot y limit so this is 5 okay so 1 not 1 maybe mm, Maybe one comma five. Okay. Just look at this now. So this is this is one comma five, and you can see that the y limit is one to five only, and this is minus two to plus two. So this is okay, but you cannot see that. I can just I should have just written like this. It should be zero because it is not the proper limit. So, and not only that, you have this uh, sine x also sine four x. So it will go up to minus one. So just let me just make it like this and uh, run it. So you can see that a whole figure is now inside that minus one to plus five, but. As I have just put the x limit from minus 2 to plus 2, so that is why it is not coming from here. It is coming from here, minus 2 to plus 2. So when you have different curves, the limit may, may be required to set. But automatically, Python gives some limit. Okay, But sometimes you need to put 
limits and similarly whenever you will use this subplots then you have to write set and underscore x limit and underscore y limit just similar to this x level and y level okay and uh, the everything whatever i have written here that everything is same for subplots also so if you want to export this figure also then you have to just again write uh, plot plt dot save fig and uh, you can just write my fig to dot png and dpi is very important when you present uh, your figure in some presentation or research paper then it will be good if you have good resolution in your figure okay and now you can just see that i have two plots here so this is another plot we have created now okay so matplotlib is very important and very useful library in python to do research type of things and you can present a lot of things okay so that's all uh, for today and thank you and subscribe my channel uh, you will learn more things in my next video for for the time being bye bye tata subscribe